Hey guys, it's Ray. So for this DIY, I'm going to be working with this box. Now, this box came with a cap that I ordered from Amazon. I'm going to link it below just if you want to check it out. This is what the cap looks like. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. It actually came like really fancy and well taken care of package, but I really like the box as well. It's perfect for storage, not too big, not too small. And this is where I keep all my manicure stuff, my two systems, my gel manicure and my deep powder. And so in the box I like, but I wanted to kind of like doll it up and just make it prettier and just wanted to share because I know a lot of people use uh, shoe boxes for storage. First thing that I'm going to be doing is painting the box with this black acrylic paint and my brush. This brush though is for makeup, but I use it for arts and crafts because the bristles are pretty soft and it has like, like a perfect size to just cover like larger objects without being one of those like super huge brushes if you know what i mean so i'm just going to be covering the whole box with this black acrylic paint and giving this two to three coats then for the flowers themselves or for my decoration itself i'm going to be using this floral print that i i found online this design i loved it if i can find the link where i found it from i'm gonna add it in the description box if not like this image exact image on my blog and just by the way i used the same image but in a smaller scale for my last diy i decorated a phone case pretty much the same concept but different techniques but for this i'm going to be cutting the pattern of the flowers i bought the scissors from like the beauty section these are supposed to be for like fake eyelashes i think or eyebrows and so i'm just going to be cutting that being really careful working on one section at a time and if you're following this pattern or just like a delicate pattern you're gonna find that in some like edges it's really hard to cut because you may break the image don't worry just you can leave some uh, paper showing in a minute i'm gonna show you how to cover that and actually printed two of this if you're using this idea for a shoe box you may need to print three times the flowers that i did and i'm going to be doing the same thing with this one as well once i have done that i'm going to be gluing the whole thing first i'm going to be arranging where i want all my flowers to be holding the edges and stuff and then i'm going to be using some glue and my brush this brush is another makeup brush i think it's for eyeshadow but the bristles are pretty soft i find makeup brushes to have like the soft bristles softer than most like arts and crafts ones and then my glue is like basic school glue gluing this whole thing and same thing that i did when i was working with my scissors working with one section at a time not trying to glue the whole flower at once glue as you go because otherwise if you add the glue to the whole flower it can be trickier and the glue starts to like dry working a random pattern my box uh, has like this edge or this part so this is how you glued the flowers in that part so now it's time to cover those white parts i'm going to go with my black acrylic paint and this dotting tool i do have the diy for this one i did it myself and it's just a toothpick holder i love working with toothpicks as detailed brushes and as dotting tools and i'm going to be pretty much covering those white paper spaces that i again didn't go with my scissors with. i'm going to be working on the inside of the box using this aquamarine or teal and i'm going to be covering everything I'm giving this two to three coats and because i wanted my uh, design on the outside to have some teal i went with my dotting tool or my toothpick and i just added a few details or dots here and there and i think it brightens the whole image one step closer to the end i'm going to be uh, working with my toothpick again grabbing some black acrylic paint and just painting the edges of my box to make them black and finally, I'm going to be adding some gloss. I'm using this spray gloss I got from Home Depot. I'm adding a few coats. I'm working outside and using my gloves. But yeah, guys, this is what the box turned out. I really like it. I love it. I'm glad I went for it. And I really like how clean and nice and the teal looks like inside. And yeah, I really like it overall. I think it's really pretty to look at. And then I'm going to be placing all my items back in. Hopefully you liked it too. And it helps you somehow. But yeah, I really like it. Hopefully you did too. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Check out more easy DIYs that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments below and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.